morning and thanks for staying tuned to First Alert 25. I'm meteorologist Josh Johns with a look at what to expect here as we go through your Wednesday. We're dealing with fog out there this morning, thick in some cases, so give yourself some extra time on that morning commute. By afternoon, though, we'll be warm again and then tonight even turning a tad cooler, topping out around 77 this afternoon, though, with plenty of sunshine. The fog will burn off. We'll see sunshine this afternoon. North winds will bring in some drier air. That drier air will allow our temperatures to fall down to the mid 40s later on this evening and into the overnight hours. And then tomorrow we're back into the mid to upper 70s. When we get into Friday, a little weak disturbance will come in. That'll bring in a small chance of some showers, about 20 to 30 percent chance of showers there on your Friday and it'll be the first of a few disturbances we have one starting Friday. We get another one coming through for the weekend, keeping some small rain chances around. Then a cold front works through late Sunday into Monday, so that'll bring some cooler air, bring in another rain chance coming in Sunday. I think Monday could end up being dry by the time we get into the middle of the week, though, looks like we could have a stronger disturbance come through and that may bring us some slightly better chances of rain before things start to dry out for the end of the week on into next weekend. 77 today, 78 for your Thursday, a touch cooler in the Brazos Valley, 20% chance of rain coming up starting Friday. We'll keep a 20 to 30% chance of rain through the weekend with mid 70s in place. Then that cooler air comes in Monday, about a 20% chance of rain Monday during the morning as that cold front moves through. 20 to 30% chance of rain Tuesday into Wednesday. We'll watch Wednesday closely. If that disturbance gets closer to us, may be able to raise those rain chances a bit, but behind it, we start to cool off. Upper 50s Thursday, low 60s in the Brazos Valley. I do have temperatures climbing back into the upper 60s though by the time we get into the end of next week and on into the weekend. Let's look at your updated 10 day forecast. Thanks for staying tuned to First Alert 25. I'm meteorologist Josh Johns.